Hello friends, Tony here. As you can see, I have created a Laravel project and I have installed a filament here. It is empty. I just have in create a project with uh, Laravel Breeze installed and installed filament 3. Now in this video, I want to take a look to the new feature in the filament version 3, which is the info list builder. So let's go here and oh, we can use this info list builder as a separate package so we don't need to install the panel builder if we don't want and we can install just this info list i have installed in my project the panel builder which also have the info list so if you have installed the panel builder automatically you have also the info list here okay now let's go to the get in starter and filaments info list package allow you to render a read only list of data about a particular entity now here we can see defining entries text entry for title for slug and for content and we have entries here so text entry icon entry image color a custom entry also and also we have a layout, so get started with layout, we can say grid, make, schema, and add. Okay, so we have two grids. Also section make with ID, adding extra HTML attributes, so section make and extra attributes, so for example class, and adding a custom section here, custom class, and tabs and so on. You will set split and custom layout. So let's go and get started. Entry classes can be found in the filament slash info list slash components namespace. You can put them inside the dollar sign info list schema method. So we need to create this in the resource. In my case, I'm going to create a resource for the user because I don't have any other uh, migration. So let's open the terminal and what I'm going to do, I'm going to run the PHP artisan make colon filament dash resource user and use the dash dash view. Hit enter. Okay, now let's open the filament. Here we have the resources and inside the user resource folder, we have a create user edit user list users and the view user okay also we have the user resource and here we have the default we have the form table methods uh, get relation get pages now let's go to this table and i'm going to add the text column i'm going to say text column make and let's say for the name and let's copy and paste for the email and for the created ad okay so this is going to be for the email and this let's say created ad and I'm going to say here this is the date so let's save and let's see now on the browser here refresh go to the users and yeah here is the user as you can see now we have this view if i click nothing is showing here and we need to create this uh, public function in the resource so let's copy and i'm going to add it after the table method so paste it right here we need to import this info list and now let's add for example text entry we make for the name and email so I'm going to say here first I'm going to say components backslash and section make 
and I'm going to say schema here. Okay, and let's use components backslash text entry make and I'm going to add here the name. And we need to use these components. So I'm going to say right here use filament info list components and uh, let's make this also a static method like this save and now we have the components for only the name and let's come here and refresh let's go to the view and yeah here we have name admin now let's copy this and paste right here one for the email and one for the created ad which is going to be date this one and let's save this come here and refresh and now we have name admin email admin examples.com and created ad is august 28 now also we can say here so let's go and go to text entry so here is an example, we can add a page, we can add color, date formatting, so date, date and time. Okay, but as you can see, we have the name, email and created that in one row. If you don't like that, you can uh, we can use uh, layouts. We can use grid, for example. So let's do that. Let's come here, say components. backslash grid and uh, make I want grid to be two or three so yeah let's say three call the schema here and let's move now all of them to this one if I save and see right now here we can say we can see now we have name here email and created that okay friends now you can play with uh, field sets tabs uh, section split and so on but this is the idea how to use the uh, filament info list okay friends so that's it about this video i just wanted to show you the idea how to use this info list builder from filament all the best and don't forget if you like such a video, subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and also like this video to help me to rank on YouTube. All the best friends.